mum's birthday. He's 24 years <laughs> young. All right, now, <laughs> we thought maybe it was a typo and they meant 42, but do you think he's 24? No. <laughs> I do not. So, stage age or...? Uh, God, no. It's not a good stage age to have, though. You want to have it look yourself looking younger than your stage age, right? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, then they had the nominations. Basically, they didn't... It wasn't face-to-face nominations, but they showed the nominations on the screen. Yeah, they showed them going in the nom room. Mm. They give you a few clips mm. that give you clues mm. as to what they said. Mm. And then they showed them, like, out and out to the housemates. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what do you think about that? Well, Jackson nominated Jason, and Jason said, I'll talk to you later about it. He wasn't happy. Given the old Vic Grimes treatment. Well, I think Jackson and Jason have both blown their games up very, very mm. seriously mm. at the moment. Mm. And the only people who didn't really get any noms was Andy and Huey, which I was really shocked at. Oh, and Sam, but he doesn't count as a human. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Why has Huey dodged that bullet? I think because there's so much heat yeah. between others at yeah. the moment. Yeah. It's like he's kind of... And, you know, also, mm-hmm. like... With Jackson and Georgia, is it Georgia or G- Georgina. Georgina? Sorry, yeah. sorry. Never mind. So, <laughs> but when your showmance gets evicted, mm. that's like a warning sign to you mm. that you should be like careful mm. with your game. But she was evicted quite a long time ago now, though. She was, but that's his missus and his <laughs> fam and etc. And Disneyland. Obviously, we yeah we still got uh, Euro <laughs> Disney and um, the tea the tea on the Sunday with the the hoi oh, po- yeah, the hoi yeah. poloi in Hertfordshire <laughs> with um, the horses and so on mm-hmm. to get through. Mm. But I don't know. So then, um, oh, hold on, yeah, Evelyn. Laura was on about the idiot general public, and Evelyn said they're nothing. You're never going to see them again. And I said, yeah, just like Bernardo. And I got quite a lot of likes on Twitter for that uh, insightful and funny joke that I did. Oh, well, <laughs> well done, you. Jackson and Evelyn continued their feud. Uh, Evelyn said, you're ch- the king of chatting shit to Jackson. <laughs> Evelyn said Yeah, that. and that was when Jackson said, shut the fuck up to Evelyn. Is, ja- is Jackson the king of chatting shit? He is. I think Jackson's game... I've, my notes are not really good on Jackson because I've kind of missed it out a couple of right, days. But just- Jackson's game got blown up bad this week, right? Because he tried to take that money twice... From the twenty, he tried to take the twenty thousand, then yeah. he took the five thousand, mm-hmm. and he just was backtracking loads about it and just being a dick about it, and not just saying, "Yeah, I took the fucking money," and he's ended up looking like a bit of a twat. And Evelyn's onto him, and Laura's onto him, but and he, he got, knows he got it. the five grand, right? Yeah, he got it. Yeah. So, and the thing is, he's playing the Povo card. Mm. He's promised um, uh, George, Georgina <laughs> that he's going to take her to Euro Disney. Well, probably Euro. Euro Disney yeah. or ma- maybe Florida but yeah. I doubt it mm. um, so he's playing the Povo card mm. and saying oh I need the money mm. which is fine like, that's, there's no problem with that mm-hmm. well so then Jackson ended up apologising to Jason for nominating him and they shook hands like real men now I've got something real to- men oh yeah I've got something to tell you me I- actually you've got something to tell me What? what is it Oh, Jason. <laughs> Jason was that... Was he in the um, garden? garden? yeah. Who was he talking to? Jackson and Alex, I think. Okay. <laughs> no, wasn't Andy there when he walked I'm off? I'm not sure. And no, that, Evelyn walked Anyway, Walter. Jason said, I'm an only child. <laughs> and then Jackson said, I've guessed that. <laughs> and I'm only reading your notes here, but it's like, what? It's not like you're abused as a child. You just got more toys, boo-woo. Now... <laughs> Now, hang on, let's, let's unpack this, oh, yeah. yeah go on. you, oh, that's why I'm throwing it over to you. I'm an only child, yeah. personally, mm-hmm. like, as a human being. Spoiled. And, no, I mm-hmm. wasn't spoiled. Yeah. I, was, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really want to get into my childhood, yeah. That's, <laughs> Come on, that's why a, not? No, that's too, that's too much. <laughs> but I think, like, what... <sighs> When you're an only child, people do talk to you mm. in a funny sort do of they? yeah. They do. They look at you slightly differently. Like there's something, there's something <laughs> wrong with you, which is probably true. Yeah. But the thing is, like, why play that only child card? I didn't even know that was a card to be played. I didn't either until Jason played no more it. Cards but to play. He's an only child, and I think he has like intimacy issues, mm-hmm. definitely with 
uh, is, what's the name? Charlie. <laughs> is yeah. that right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> he struggles with like intimacy mm. and like whatever. What are you saying? He you also... struggle with intimacy. <laughs> is that what... <laughs> no, but I'm saying <laughs> if you're an only child, yeah. I don't know. Like people treat you differently, and do they? yeah, they do. Yeah, they, like people like say to you, oh, "Okay, all right." It's it's like you're it's a special pity party, like <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, but with Jason, mm-hmm. I don't know why he mentioned that at that mm. time. Like, I'm an only child, I so oh. I've basically skipped all the Alex and Evelyn stuff. But at this point, Alex said, oh, "I've got a bit on them later." Now, he said he only do, gets. Do, off... do you think? Do you think? What? In terms of Big Brother showmances that we've ever seen, <laughs> and there's a lot of them, mm. how scorching hot is Alex mm. and Evelyn? I'd put it tepid. He said he only... I'd put, I'd put less than tepid. I'd put it a fucking, like, about... Like, Arctic. Mo- yeah, Arctic. Yeah, he said right. he only likes her when the red light is on, i.e. there's alcohol in there. And Jackson laughed like a little pussy hole that he is. Um... When you say red light, mm. do you mean the camera's running? No, when there's like alcohol in the storeroom or something, I think. No, I don't even think that. Yeah. I think Alex is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sounds like you gave her a piss. <laughs> I'm not alcoholic. Anyway, You're so. Not a, I'm not alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> I think Alex. You are, admit it. Alex, alright, I'm alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> Alec and crack Alec. And Alec. Right, so you're not... When was the last time you used to smoke crack? Admit it. Uh, about ten years ago. Well, there you go then. All right. I just want to say that has nothing to do with me. Carry on. Crack is good. Oh, but I don't want to go down that road. I'm, I'm not asking I'm too old. I'm not asking you to. But it's a good bus. Oh, anyway. that one. I'll do it if I get cancer or something. Well, and I'll do DMT then. Let's look forward to that. So, anyway, so... Where were we? Um, oh, I've forgotten. No, 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 come on, let's... let's... Hold on, I'm trying to find out. Um, oh, oh, he only fucks Evelyn if the red light's on. He don't even fuck yeah, her, we're talking he won't about, even kiss we're, her. We're talking about Alex and oh. Evelyn's showman. Yeah. It is the most lame showman in the history... It's a no-man's. ...a big brother. Mm-hmm. And also, the thing is... Brother. Yeah. I mean, I think she actually probably slightly genuinely likes him mm. but he I don't know if it's gameplay or there's something wrong with his no, personality no it's the funeral it's the eulogy and also the fact he's gay isn't it it's like he's living every day as if he's waiting for the speech to be read out at his funeral so you know he's got to behave himself also she's not the type of girl he wants to settle down with also those socks and sandals also he's blatantly gay so no I don't think he's gay. Mm. I think he's just a gay mm, planner. <laughs> no, I do. Nice because it. the thing is, I think all he worries about mm. is like how he comes across yeah, and yeah. whatever. Yeah. But he's playing such a wishy washy, floaty, like floater rat game mm-hmm. that there's no, there's no logic to it. I think if he thought that if he humped, sorry for the crass term, if he humped Evelyn, if he thought there was a vote in it, he would do it. Mm-hmm. Um, he's obviously not sexually attracted to her. I think no. that, that much is like... Well, she kissed him and he, like, recoiled, basically. And in the morning, mm. he said... It was revealed in the task, wasn't it? Mm. That he said, I woke up and I thought, wake uh, up, yeah. kid, or something yeah. like that. So, I think, like... And he keeps, like, putting his hand on her head and going, oh, do you think this one's a keeper? And all weird stuff like that. He is game planning. Lest we forget, when Evelyn and Laura were talking about him in the kitchen and he was sat on the couch listening and his face did not even react if you caught two girls talking about you when you were sat on the couch wouldn't you even at least react no I'd sit there and listen for as long as I could yeah but wouldn't you pretend to be asleep or something you wouldn't just sit there with your eyes open like a freak Mm, no because you're on Big Brother so you would think like right I'm going to listen to this Mm. and then use the information for my own benefit afterwards Mm -hmm. because you've got to have your game face on but the thing is, <laughs> don't hit me. Stop you! You on on a podcast? I'm getting late. Oh, whatever. So the thing is, but the thing didn't unprofessional. Didn't Evelyn say that she Evelyn? Sorry, didn't she say that he had a boner? What did she? Well, 
I doubt there was it. some mention of it, right. but I think she is imagining the boner, and he is just thinking about the prize prize pot, which is now reduced pension pot. Speaking of the prize fund, mm. I had a bit of a chat on Twitter with a couple of people, <laughs> and that makes a change. It does make a change, <laughs> but I started tweeting a bit more recently. Mm, I noticed. Now, so it was one hundred and fifty thousand pounds on the pie face era yeah now apparently mm. and i didn't see the announcement i've known nothing about it but it was Renthrace told me actually uh, shout of, all, out of all people yeah shout out he said <laughs> prize pot he's no, actually, got good things do you know what say. it wasn't him <laughs> oh shit but anyway anyway we still love you big Renfrace. up Renfrace. <laughs> and it was richie forever oh yeah yeah he and said you... that the prize fund is now back down to a hundred thousand pounds i don't remember it even going up to one hundred fifty thousand pounds. yeah because that, that was the pie face time oh, man i'm not concerned with the prize fund it's boring no so, i am because i think that's important well sam won the save and replace task i was hoping he was going to save laura but Don't you mean Ben? If, yeah. He, instead, he saved Jane. Yay! Go, Jane. Now, Who did he put up? Andy. Boo. Now, why? Strategically, if you're Ben, like, <laughs> do you think, like... How can I explain? Like, it's like, he... Does he know that he is fucked essentially in that game he has no chance of winning i heard laura and evelyn mm-hmm. i heard laura and evelyn mm-hmm. um talking about um their game and <laughs> they essentially said mm-hmm. they had no chance of winning and they were saying i'd be gutted if jacko won or if you know who they liked and who they didn't like and who they thought was fair they didn't fair but the way they were talking was the neither of them had any chance of winning at all. So essentially, they were just existing in the house and they had no opportunity to actually win. They were talking about who could win and who couldn't win. And they didn't really consider themselves in the running for actually winning the game. But I'm not sure that's right because those two are a power duo. And although, although everything is what it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, it was, no, no, but I think like it's it's an open game at the moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did Do you, you know cover what I mean? that? Up? <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> it, and just just for it's like subtitles, isn't it? So. It's like it's like remember that time we watched Coronation Street and it had the. Um, oh God. No, it, the audio description. Yeah, the audio it's for like deaf or blind people or something. I don't know where. And it said, "Can't be blind." Simon, Simon plays with Picking the jigsaw, the jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> That's quite sad that we both remember that. That's quite indicative of something not good. I don't think. Right. So then, <laughs> no, but hang on. So we're unpacking. What were we? On? I know, but we need to like move on. No, so, we don't. <laughs> so Andy was bitterly disappointed about Sam, aka Bungle, putting him up for eviction. Right. What? <laughs> Sam saved ben. Jane. Yes, Ben. <laughs> ben saved Jane. Now, why did Ben save Jane? I don't know why. But I'm glad he did, because I like Jane. I like Jane. You know, Jane is I like my new her. pick to win. She's quite sexy as well, in a way. For her age? Yeah. Which is 49, I yeah. think, or something. Or something, something, 51, 49, something like that. Hmm. She is not bad. I know she did like that sort of Sasha Grey, like porno spread leg well, sort of thing. I've but... got something to announce here. Is <laughs> yeah. that I went to I went to fuck it. <laughs> Excuse me. F- F- Fuke, sorry, <laughs> in uh, Thailand. Yes. And I had a penis massage. But it's not like you think. It's, the, um, it's actually quite a holistic experience. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sounds very uh, sugar-free. So, okay, what else happened? Then, um, hold on, oh God. Oh, this is my actual written notes, so I'm fucked now. All um, right, well. Oh, Alex had to choose someone to go on a date and he chose Jason. Boo. Gay. Yeah, but hang on. <laughs> Think about it game wise. Mm-hmm. You know, when it's like, it's like when um, Dan- Daniel Ray's um, <laughs> said, get the meat, get the meat, get the meat. <laughs> Jason needs the protein. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So maybe that was the strategy behind that that concept. It's possible. 
Um, I can't actually read my own writing there, never mind. All right, well, that's um, the end of the podcast No, it's now. not, because I've got the bit where we talk about all the people individually. Oh. We don't really have to do that. Fuck's no, sake. No, it's fine, don't worry. So.